how to get more signups on your landing page. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can increase the conversion rate of your landing page. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, conversion strategist. I help online coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs get clients without social media burnout and scale with evergreen systems and strategies. I post weekly content about online marketing and getting clients online. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications. In today's video, we're going to talk about what makes a high converting landing page, the perfect outline of a landing page that gets more signups and what to say on your landing page so that you can get more people to sign up for your email list. Now let's first talk about what a landing page is. A landing page is not your homepage. A landing page is not your website. It's a standalone page that has one single purpose that is designed to make the visitors of that page take the same action, right? So it is for one purpose only. And a lot of times you've heard squeeze page, splash page, VSL page, opt-in page, sales page, and things like that. These are all different types of landing pages and they all have one single purpose. It is either to have people to sign up for your lead magnet. It's for maybe access to a, an, an, a platform, access to a training, um, a, a freebie or booking a call with you. So it is only for one single purpose. So what makes a high converting landing page? Clarity, being specific, and showing the value and the benefit. Those are the most important things that's gonna help you increase the conversion rate of your landing page. It's very important to be clear that at, a, at the first glance, your user needs to understand why they're on this page and what they're signing up for. What is this for? And the next thing is being specific, specifically for the user that comes so that we can actually get quality leads, right? If it's not specific for those visitors, then we won't have them sign up. But if it's specifically for them, then that's going to increase our conversion rate, increase our signups on our landing page. The next most important thing is the value how will they benefit from signing up for this landing page, the lead magnet or booking a call with you, but how will they benefit? Why are they, why do they need to take this action of signing up? Why are they giving you their email list or why are they booking a call with you? How are they going to benefit from this? Those are the three most important things that's going to make or break your game when it comes to uh, creating a landing page. One of the most common mistake we see on landing pages is the unclear message. Just like we said earlier, clarity is the most important because they need to understand what they're signing up for, right? But a lot of times we see copy about your business, your offer, your entire thing, and it's not given a clear message. All we wanna know on this page is what we are signing up for and what that thing is going to help us with. So that's why we want to be clear. We see lots of clever copy, but we need to be clear as to what exactly they're signing up for. If this is a checklist, obviously they're not going to start living their best life with one single checklist, right? So that's why we want to be clear with what the checklist is going to help for help with rather than telling them that, oh, you're going to live your best life. Another very common mistake that we see is multiple call to actions. Having multiple call to action buttons on your landing page is great if you have a long page. But all the call to actions need to be in line with the same action to take. We don't want to give them multiple different call to action saying, sign up for this, book a call with me, get this offer. No, if this landing page is to have them sign up for one lead magnet, the call to action should be about getting that lead magnet, not for anything else. So make sure you're consistent 
with your call to actions if you want to add more than one. Third mistake I see is low quality images or too many irrelevant images. Now, low quality images is a no-no from a technical optimization point, but also you don't want to give low quality images because they need to understand what this is at a first glance, right? So that's why you don't want to have irrelevant images and you want to make sure it's not cluttered visually. The images you post on your landing page need to be strategic. They need to explain what they're signing up for on the landing page. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense, right? Fourth mistake is a lengthy opt-in form. Recently, I read a market research about opt-in forms. And the studies show that if you have more than four uh, opt-in fields for your audience to fill out, this decreases the sign-up the conversion rate of that landing page by 70%. So make sure you're not giving them too many fields to fill out. And I would say two or three would be the best. Their name and email address, if you wanna ask for a website or phone number, that's fine too, but don't make it lengthy. Another very common mistake I see is cluttered page layout bunch of pictures here and there, a bunch of buttons all over the place, um, the, the copy, all the paragraphs and line breaks don't really make sense and it has a cluttered look. You don't want to distract your target audience. Attention span of our users is very, very short. It's less than two seconds. So you don't want to give them a cluttered visual and have them X out of the page and leave. You want to be compelling brief and specific. So you don't want all of the stuff all over the page. Next common mistake is slow page loading speed. Like I said earlier, the attention span of the users is very, very short. So if you have a slow loading page, especially at this day and age of high speed internet, this is going to really make them get out of the page. Nobody wants to sit there and wait for a page to load. So make sure your page is optimized and it's fast enough to load so that you're not losing any leads while it's trying to load the whole page. And the last mistake I wanna talk about is not having the mobile version of the page optimized. When we're designing the pages, most of the time we're looking at the web, web version of the design. And sometimes when you switch it to mobile version, it may not be in the same order, it may get jumbled up, and you need to make sure to check the mobile version and make sure to have a good outline and everything is in place. Now that we talked about some of the most common mistakes, let's talk about the perfect outline of a high converting landing page. The most important part of your landing page, that's above the fold. This is the top of your page where everybody see as long as it loads, right? So above the fold is gonna make it or break it. Why? Because that's how people are gonna decide if they should scroll down and read more. And that's why your hook is gonna determine whether they will wanna read more or not, whether they want to sign up or not. And when you're thinking about your hook, think about your ideal audience, think about the purpose of them being on this page, think about the intention of what they're signing up for and the keywords they use, the phrases that they use within this niche. 